Let's get something straight. I'm a reflection of her. So you got a problem with her. You have a problem with me all day, every day. I got a drip. I got a drip. Sasa no. Sasa no. Hey y'all, it's your girl Tiasha, and I am here for another video. Breaking news! Breaking news! Ari has released the video. So Ari had released the video telling her side of the story, and well, she released two videos telling her side of the story. So I'm gonna break it down for y'all and give y'all just the gist of it. She signed the contract. Also, she claims that. Everybody, her and everybody signed that contract. Her mom went over line for line for the contract. So everybody signed it basically willingly. They knew that there was a two-step verification process and she could possibly lock them out to her out their account. So she's like, okay, y'all already knew this. What's the problem? She claims that the contract that was shown is not the contract that they signed. But they did have a two-part verification process and the mom did have access to that and could lock them out their account. And she, like she, and she said if her mom felt that anybody was moving funny, she could lock them out their account so that she can get paid. She... Basically beat it around the bush when it came to telling everybody's business. She said she ain't going to call no names, but she, but everybody know um, what they did and the people, oh, sorry y'all, the people who they was hanging with that she didn't want them to hang with. So, but I think she was talking about Corey, Corey right then and there because he, lately he been hanging with, you know, DMB Nation, Damien and stuff. And, of course, you know, Damien them claims that the mama stole money from them. She says her mom does have a past. Basically, her mom went to jail. I mean, not went to jail, but basically got on her record felony charges for falsifying documents because her mom was on welfare. So, basically, this is kind of like welfare fraud to an extent. To an extent. Her mom was on welfare, and supposedly the daycare lady was mistreating them, so she moved them to a different daycare, and she tried to use the check that the day, I mean, that welfare was giving her, and she, she didn't forge it, forge the lady's name, but she signed somebody else's name on the check. And then there was another one with the school district. They went to a school that they wasn't supposed to because they didn't live in the district. And basically that's falsifying documents too. So she do got some fraud like ways. But she said she did it for her kids. And we all know um, you'll do anything for your kids. So... We can't, I mean, we can't, we'll never know the truth of what really happened as far as those charges that's on her record, but I'm just telling y'all what Ari said. Ari also, that's her mama. She said, don't come for her mama, because when you come for her mama, you coming for her. And I'm going to put the clip right here, because she ain't playing no games with y'all. She is pissed off. She said, you're looking at a mad daughter. I am pissed. She's pissed at everybody because everybody's talking about how her mama looks, calling her mama bleeps. I ain't going to say it because you know YouTube, but y'all know what I mean. Calling her mama names, and she ain't here for it. And then, they got people threatening them. And her son is over there. She says she's waking up. Her mom's talking about how... They are being threatened, and so this is this is just going too far. But she said, until anybody can come with receipts saying showing that her mom took any money, she ain't believing nothing. She's riding for her mama, which I expect the daughter to do, cause right or wrong, I'ma ride for my mama, and I know y'all gonna do the same. So I wouldn't expect any different from Ari. 
She's riding for her mama, like she said. Show me receipts. Show me where she scammed you. Yeah, she had access to lock you out your account, but show me where she locked you at your account. So basically, she didn't lock them out their account, but she could have if she wanted to. And let this be a lesson learned to anybody in this situation. Let this be a lesson learned. Don't give nobody that much access to your money and your account to where they even got that, you know, the authority to do that. Y'all were literally grown enough to sign those contracts and let Ari tell it. She signed it too. Y'all all signed it for her, for the mom to get 20%. Lawyers looked at the agreement. Y'all went over the contract line for line and y'all still signed it. So, I mean... Technically, is the mama really wrong? Because y'all knew about the two-step um, author, authorization. Y'all knew about everything in the agreement because supposedly everything went was given over. And now all of a sudden, it's a problem because y'all hanging with other people. I'm not saying this. This is basically what Aerie's saying. So now it's a problem because y'all hanging with other people. Are, is other people getting in y'all head? So, she want to see receipts. But she already pissed off and she already basically calling people out, but she's not saying no names. She said when this person was do having this relationship problem, when this person was having problems with their parent, when this person was having this and this and this, they was coming to her mama. And now, all of a sudden, she's a scammer and she's a fraud. She wants receipts she wants to get her mom to talk and tell her side of the story she don't know if her mom is but let me know what y'all think i mean i understand i'm a ride for mom i would ride for my mom too right or wrong so i mean it's always two sides to every story actually three sides this person's side this person's side and the actual truth because nobody is really gonna tell the truth of what really happened so we'll never fully know but until more people speak up, until more people speak up, we not really going to find out exactly what happened. Because she's claiming there hasn't been no money taken. Everybody else is claiming something different. So, I will keep y'all updated and we're going to wait for these receipts to come out. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment and I will hit y'all up later. Bye.